Hello, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. Praise God. Now, God has great plans for this year. And you should know that by now. You know, sometimes people think when we, you know, maybe when we go to church for crossover and you, you hear the year is going to be a year of this and a year of that, people think it's just gimmicks. No, it's not. It's not. See, God's children actually spend time with before the Lord to know what the mind of the Lord is for the new year. Now, just before we go into this, this broadcast, can we call for that daily bread? Now, this is a new year. You don't want to miss calling for your daily bread. Praise God. So, are you ready? Let's go. So, Father, I receive today and in this new year, my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now, I was telling you something earlier. It's, it's a great year, trust me. The Spirit of God. Now, he's not, he, the Lord is not thinking what the year is going to be. The Lord has already planned the year. And because he has planned the year, now that's the purpose of prophecy. Prophecy tells you what the mind of God is and what God wants to do. So, what you do to make prophecy to be fulfilled is that you align yourself with the Spirit of God. So when God said this year is going to be like this, either to you or to your pastor whom you believe in, if he tells you this is what the Lord is saying or this is the mind of the Lord concerning the year. Now even though, like I always say, it's important you personally hear the Lord for yourself. Because the truth about it is, the pastor is not going to take you by the hand to lead you to whatever God has said. He will do his part. He will teach you. But you on your own need to align yourself with the Spirit of God for him to bring those words to pass in your life. We do not struggle to fulfill prophecies. The moment you find yourself struggling to fulfill prophecy, then something is wrong. You yield to the Spirit of God. He is the one that will take you precept upon precept line upon line and then you are going to turn around and like hey this prophecy has been fulfilled that is how it works that's how we fulfill prophecies we do not live our lives trying to fulfill prophecies we live our lives trusting the leadership of the holy spirit that's why the bible says, for as many as are led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god so the reason God gave us his spirit is for his spirit to guide us. Guide us where? Into the truth of what God has already finished. So that's why the Bible says the just man shall live by his own faith. Now what does it mean by his own faith? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God or hearing the voice of God. So the just man has to hear the voice of God for himself. That's what the Bible is. That's what that scripture is saying. So the just man must hear the voice of God for himself. And when he hears the voice of God and he responds to it, that that is living by his faith. And the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if you don't hear the voice of God, you can't please God. There is no way you are going to please God. I'm telling you the truth. He said, but, but, but are you saying, no, God is going to tolerate you. Isn't it amazing? No, you've got lots and lots of people that God is just tolerating. See, do you mean, no, I'm telling you the truth. If See, without faith, the Bible says it is impossible. Now, when he says something is impossible, it means it's impossible. It won't work. There's a difference between God being pleased with you and God tolerating you. He will tolerate you because you're his child, not necessarily because you're pleasing him, not necessarily because he's excited about you. But let me tell you this, in 2022, don't live in that place where God is just tolerating you. Live in the place where God is pleased with you. Now that's what you want. 
You want God to be pleased with you. Now, pleased with you. You know what's the difference between tolerating you and pleased? Now, when someone is tolerating you, he, he fulfills his responsibility towards you. Because he's honorable. But when someone is pleased with you, he does extra. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know that, right? You know, you, someone's just happy. You think about it. You have children and, and you, you, you have this child who's just outstanding in his dealings with you. I mean, you wake up in the morning, oh, dad, can I clean your shoes for you? Like, okay, good. Now, see, and then he, he, he does it the way you like it. You teach that child something and they say, oh, dad, thank you, I understand it. And then you look at that child and he's doing it the way you taught him. You'll be pleased, like, wow, that, that's my son, that's my boy. Now, now that kind of a child, you, you go out and then you, you just see something, oh, he's going to like this, let me get it for him. But you know, sometimes as parents, you, you see something like, oh, if he has not even been behaving well. When I have more money, I'll buy it for you. But this other person, you're ready to sacrifice everything for. Why? Because you are pleased. God wants to be pleased with you in 2022. He wants to be pleased. He wants to be pleased with you. And to get God to be pleased with you, there is no other way than by faith, which is by hearing his voice. And the funny thing about it is, his voice is not far from you. It is you that have not been paying attention to his voice. Now that's why it can be annoying. See, so because some people think that, hey, if only we can hear God now, we'll, we'll do his way. No, he is speaking. He is speaking all the time. But the problem is you are not paying, notice I didn't say you are not hearing. I say you are not paying attention to his voice. God is a talking spirit. God cannot do but talk. That is the only way his, 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 his presence is known. By his word. When we get to heaven, we're not going to see someone, you know, moving on the throne and say, that is God. No. How are we going to know where God is? By his voice. In Genesis, it said the voice of God came walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And he will instruct them. It was his voice they heard. They didn't see any figure or any form. So also in heaven, they don't see any figure or any form. When God spoke to Moses from that, and at that mountain, you know, he, he, he told Moses one time, you know, remember that? He says, hey, Moses. He called the children of Israel together and said, look, I want to talk to you guys. And then God began to instruct them. He said, you remember the day I appeared to you? Notice, he said, you remember the day I appeared to you? So yeah, we remember. And then he said, you did not see any figure. So how did he appear to them? Not what I'm sharing with you. This is a new year. And, and the Lord told me something about this year. It's a year of accuracy. Accuracy in serving God. Accuracy in doing his will. Accuracy in walking the walk that you walk. Before God and before me. That tells you that God doesn't want to tolerate you anymore. And he's giving you every resources you need. That's why I'm here to share these things with you. So God said to them, he, you did not see any figure. You did not see any similitude, nothing. You only heard a voice. And God says, now hear me. Don't make any thing to represent me. And that's why the Bible says God hates graven image. He hates it. The reason is because there is nothing you are going to carve out or you are going to form that will look like him. This is so important before God. And even Jesus no one has the picture of Jesus. No one. See, all those pictures you see most times is, is the movie actor that they try to depict. That's not Jesus. And it's even wrong to have a picture of Jesus. You know why? You see, now this is how idolatry, idolatry works. 
people don't understand you know because you, you when you talk of idolatry people think about and uh, you went to bow down to another god but this is a challenge and that's why god says don't make anything that looks like you don't and this is the reason now you get people so gazed at a particular picture that when the real person shows up they won't recognize it you see that now you make people think this is jesus you know so you see the white man with with some beards and now when they pray and they say lord jesus i i, I would i wouldn't mind you know having you know i wouldn't mind you just showing up i wouldn't mind you just now they in their mind that is the picture they are expecting so they're expecting someone to walk into their room with long robe, you know, white robe, and, and come in and, and saying, oh, this is Jesus. No, sir. No. No. That's not him. So the earlier we start taking our minds off those things, the better for you. In all those things, you know, Mary, Different kinds of things people put to represent him. No, it's wrong. It is wrong. Put those things in me. You don't need them. So, so what's the picture of God? His voice. It is his voice. Now, now, now funny enough, you think, you know, these things are, you're taking it lightly. Funny enough, most of those things have been the reason why you have not been hearing the voice of God. Because someone will say, oh, God will visit you. Guess what you're thinking? You're, you're, you, you have a picture in your mind already. Now, the fact that you have a picture in your mind, that's a graven image. And so you expect him to come that way to speak to you. You expect him to come that way to minister to you. You have put a graven image in your mind and God doesn't show up. Because if he shows up, he's going to be battling between the image you have of him and his real self. And he doesn't get into those kind of things. So he waits for you to take out that image that you have put in your heart. And then sometimes, you know, people even put the image of their own pastor, see, before God. And the Lord hates those things, brothers and sisters. He hates those things. He told Moses, there was no form. You didn't see any form. And God now warned them. Let me, let me read that scripture. Oh, we don't even have time. I'm going to read that scripture tomorrow for you. But listen to me. This year, make up your mind right now. I'm going to walk perfectly before God. I'm going to walk accurately before God. God has given his spirit to teach you. And as his spirit is teaching you, that is exactly how you should walk. And don't look to the right nor to the left. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Can I pray for you now? Can I pray for you now? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask that a great measure of supply of your spirits be ministered to these ones watching and listening right now. I pray that a veil be taken off their eyes, the scales drops from their eyes and let them begin to see your personality so they will walk accurately before you and understand perfectly your voice when you speak. I pray for this year. Let a new unction rest upon them right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I can see God healing someone. I can see God healing someone. Somewhere around your waist down to your right leg. Whatever is there now, be healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be healed. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you, precious Father. There is a great supply of your spirit. Let it be the story of everyone watching right now. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 
Start this day right. Praise God. Start the day. Let the love of God fill your heart. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye.